Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve and graph uh, one variable inequalities. And I'm not going to kind of go through an example, because that's obviously what the whole course is about, is going through examples. But I kind of want to go through kind of like a step-by-step -step process that I want you to kind of follow when you are solving and graphing one variable inequalities. Now remember, as far as the processes of solving one variable inequalities, it's very similar to solving linear equations. We're going to use the same inverse operations, property of equality, and reverse order of operations as we will with linear um, equations. So so um, if we have something that's like a multi-step, the first thing we want to do is make sure we can simplify, right? Get the variable to the same side, simplify, um, apply distributive property if needed, and so forth, but simplify it down to a two-step equation. Then once we have it in a two-step equation, we want to make sure we identify the variable, and not only identify the variable, but identify what operations are being applied to the variable. Then, once we know that, we are going to isolate the variable, get the variable by itself. And we do that by using our inverse operations, right? undoing what operations are being applied to the variable, using our properties of equality. So when we undo an operation on one side, we have to make sure we undo it on the other side, as well as using the reverse order of operations, making sure that when we have a two-step equation, we undo addition and subtraction first before undoing multiplication and division. Now remember, um, inequalities differ from equations in the fact that when we're solving them, we're using these inverse operations and properties of equality. When we multiply or divide by a negative number, we got to make sure that Rosa, we flip the sign. Rosa, can you call the front office? Rosa, call the front office. Sorry. I guess not as professional as I'd like. Um, the next thing is, in, like an equation, when we solve an equation, we have you know, x equals or y equals a certain value. But for an inequality, we're going to have um, infinite many solutions. So we want to make sure that we, if we have like x is greater than 3, that we plot 3 on a line graph. All right, And so a lot of times, based on the inequality, you can determine if it's a closed or an open point. But if you can't, um, we want to use not shad, we want to shade using our test points. So if you don't remember which inequality symbol relates to a closed or an open point, test the point. Is 3 less than 3? No, that's false. So therefore, it would be an open dot. But if it was 3 is less than or equal to 3, that is true. So you'd shade it in. And then as well as do you shade to the left or to the right of the point, pick points to left or right, plug them into your solution uh, or into your remaining equation, and then um, test them to be able to determine where you're going to shade, where you always shade towards your true points. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve and graph one variable inequalities. Thanks.